Subscribe to America's Parks. You feeling the heat, Kayla? Oh yeah. I am. We're bringing the heat, though. We're bringing <laughs> we are. America's Parks is bringing the heat in New Mexico at Bandelier National Monument. So we're on our way right now to Bandelier National Monument. It's interesting that most of these New Mexico National Parks are unknown to most people, but if there's one that people are somewhat familiar with, it'd be this one, Bandelier National Monument. And the deal with this place is, if you get here by 9.30, we were told, you can drive right down to the monument itself. If you get here after 9.30, then you need to park way up top and take a shuttle down. GPS has us scheduled to arrive at 9.31, so this is gonna be close. We're going to Bandelier. It's gonna be a great day. Really looking forward to this one. So as you can tell already in the video, we ended up taking the park shuttle. It's not because we didn't get here by 9.30. It's because we received bad advice. The gates close at nine o'clock. But we are now at Bandelier. Check out this view behind me. See back in the rocks there, Kayla? Some cliff dwellings. So our goal today is to hike the main loop trail and then take that to the alcove trail where we will enter the famous area where you ascend the ladders. Oh, what do we got going here, guys? So, we have a historic apple tree planted for the years of the lodge that was here. So, as you were so, saying, sir, yes, before our battery died. We have, we have bears, and we love bears. So, we want to keep them safe and away from humans. And they oh, love okay. these. These yeah. are great apples. Try one. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Look how little it is. Yeah, have a bite. Mmm. <laughs> how is it? It's pretty bitter, isn't it? It's actually not that bad. Yeah, it's not bad. And if we see any bears along the way, we'll tell I'll them just chuck this these out are the guys that have stolen all their apples <laughs> and look for a white bucket. Yeah. They did all the work for you. Help yourself. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good one. Oh, we'll see you. Good. You okay back there, Kayla? Yeah. All right, we're heading up some stairs. Go a little higher up to the top of the cliff. Get a little aerial of the canyon and see some assembled Pueblos. You ready for the ladder? Yeah. It's a little guy, let's go. These guys were only 5'6". I'd be kneeling every time I went home. All right, Kayla, come on up the stairs. You know, I use stairs intentionally because you gotta remember what the guy told us. These are like the Park Avenue Pueblos out here. This is where Bill Gates would live. He wouldn't have a ladder. A he'd have stairs. As a matter of fact, he'd have an elevator. All this is just a format what what is actually below you so there's actually maybe like uh, maybe two feet more wall oh. in the ground yeah that's original so it we're upgrading like their materials a little bit a little right? bit yeah but for the most part the same, same soil same same, 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 same rocks yes. and the same procedure I mean, you're using more uh, 21st century tools here. They would yeah, probably use they, what? Like, they would have used their hands. And, hands. And one thing most people don't know is that, you know, we used to use blood as, you know, kind of like our glue to help blood. stick it together. I like animal bloods. No kidding. Yeah. That would serve like a, a cohesive factor to hold the, uh, the the materials together. Yeah, sort of like what we're doing with the Roplex. Yeah. They would have used, the they would use animal blood. Animal blood. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Let me check this out. Man. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If I touch this? It. Yeah, of course. You know? that. Yeah, Roplex is just a, a acrylic bonding agent that clears, it dries clear, so it kind of just, you know, yeah. mimics, any shape you can. Yeah. Yeah. Really well, you, just, you mold it right in there with your hand? Mold it right, yeah, you can touch it if you want. Yeah, yeah. oh, there you go, that's what you've done. The living quarters would have been up on the uh, second up on, story. Uh, above this right Yeah, here. like this was your like basement. Wow. And you're saying that this was all attached. This was all one. Yeah, this large that, unit. that was the only entrance where you actually came into. No kidding. So this all would have been circle. Is this the one we saw in the picture earlier that almost seemed like it had a little bit of an amphitheater in the middle, and then it had structures around the whole perimeter? Then. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one you saw. Oh, there we go. That's the one. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. 
So yeah, the kivas yeah. would have been covered. They would have had a roof, and every every one would have had a some sort of a ladder going back into it. And based upon the work they've done here, and a lot of it you can see is still standing. Mm -hmm. I mean, this could be in place. Your great great grandkids could come by yeah. and see the stone that you laid here yeah, today, right? Of course, of course. How cool yeah. is you know, that? They could be doing this job, the same thing that I'm doing. How cool is that? Yeah. That's awesome. All right, guys. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much. No thanks problem. for taking the time to talk no to us. We just branched off the main trail. And we have, it looks like a half mile to the alcove house. This is where it gets fun. Here's where we start climbing some ladders. You can see some people way up in the cliff. That's where we're heading right now. Check that out. Health problems or fear of heights. Don't even think about it. I think we're good. Ready? Yeah. We start off with the ladder. Right at the beginning. Here we go. Way. Done one ladder, now we're going up some steps here. say that this village received its heyday around the mid 1200s um, by the mid 1500s for the most part everybody was gone and uh, they really don't know why they moved more to some uh, areas where there's some flatter plains they left the cliffs uh, but no records were kept until the Spanish arrived so everything that they uh, wish to discern based upon the history of the uh, Puebloan people here is all oral tradition. That'll do it for Bandelier National Park. Monument. Thanks so much for traveling with us. If you haven't done so yet, we'd appreciate it. You can consider subscribing to America's Parks. And remember, there's always room for you on our next adventure. Thanks for joining us and have a great day. We're out of here. I think it's ice cream time. It's because we read reset. You can see some people. No, I'm trying to talk on the camera here. You okay back there, Kayla? Yep. Where are you at? Oh, where are you? Ready for the. <laughs> oh, yes. Try it again.